And that's all it was for 90 minutes. You know I'm thugging, bro, right? It won eight Oscars that year, including best screenplay. Okay, so this video we are delivering to you in record time, but what can you do about it? You guys just seem to love these island boys here on this channel, so what's been up with their 15 minutes of fame? In this video, we're gonna find out. The Island Boys exploded in popularity over on TikTok and managed to parlay that notoriety into reaching the top of the world's influencers. The boys even got booked at exclusive venues like Club Live in Miami, although the audience reaction wasn't all that great. Typing their name into Google Trends, the twins are still pulling in a ton of interest following their recent walkout on the Impulsive Podcast with Logan, Mike, and George. God forbid, which means an accident, and God forbid, a situation would happen. You, you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? And why God is judging us because of that shit. Basically, we have one thing to blame, and that's our stupidity. They also linked up with the Nelk Boys just a week ago, and again, it was drama-filled with them getting into a fight with the toughest member of the group, Gabe. Here, bro. You, you from here? I'm from here, bro. Come on, buddy. No, I'm from here, bro. Do you, do you have your face right there? Look at my face right there. You know, 6'9. 6'9 is your. A man, shout out to Gabe, but that is the bad news. The good news they've dropped a music video for their viral song, Island Boys, and it did big numbers, pulling in over 2 million views in just a week. <laughs> They have also gotten into the NFT game while acting extremely festive over on Cameo doing shoutouts for their fans. To find out everything that has been going on with 2021's arguably biggest breakout act, you're going to want to sit tight for this episode of Where Are They Now? I'm your host Clyde Smith, Michael did do an interview with the Island Boys which is also here on this channel if you want to check that out and get to know them more on a personal level. Alright, let's get into this video. Roll back the clock to October 13th of 2021 and Kodiak Red and Fly Soldier were just another pair of young face tattooed rappers hoping to catch their big break. Their TikTok uploaded filmed in their hot tub was a massive hit when it got a reaction out of Andy Milanakis. Uh, uh, Big up! You requested it so we rewind! Come on! Over 2.1 million views later from that one TikTok and the Island Boys became one of the biggest trends the internet has ever seen. With Halloween just around the corner, they even became a popular costume, and some TikTok dudes even dedicated their entire pages to dressing up and parodying the pair. Pain has a face. Allow me to show it to you. Because I'm an island boy. I'm just, just trying, trying to make it. Oh, I'm an island boy. Celebrities even got in on the fun like Terry Crews, and we saw a meme online that Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton were the original island boys, which, to be honest, given everything going on right now, is kind of clever. Just went from zero to 100 real quick. Despite if people were laughing at them or with them, all the publicity worked out well for the boys as their social media accounts blew up in the millions, both on TikTok and Instagram. Their first big business move was to capitalize on Cameo, where they charged between $200 and $700 per shoutout, and the reviews are great. People say that the two really do deliver. Their next bit of business was to set up their own NFTs with a pretty nice looking website. They are selling 4,500 unique collectibles, which will set you back around $4,000 US dollars. It looks like they have sold out about 500 of them so far, so it looks like a decent investment to some. On top of this, they are also selling merch, so somebody certainly stepped in to help these boys turn their viral fame into a long lasting career. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Wait, 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 wait. All right, we know you guys clicked on this video hoping for some drama, so let's get into it. First, let's talk about them hooking up with the boys of Nelk. It appears that MTV Jesse actually purchased one of their cameos, which started up a relationship between the two groups of boys. Steve Will Do It has made the move full time to Miami, so it was easy enough to get Kodiak Red and Fly Soldier over to his condo for a party. All seemed to be going well with them, enjoying a freestyle battle before an altercation broke out between the newest member of Nelk, Gabe. The description on this post was that the twins didn't like his, let's say, sexual advances, and things got pretty heated. Gabe is trying to wheel the island boys right now. This guy's no limits. This guy's the biggest slut. You are a slut. You're a slut. Buddy, 
I know, the guys have so horny, man. two options, man. Now, it did sound like a joke. However, Gabe did open up about it on their podcast, and he was pretty serious. I mean, he liked what he saw. Well, what do you guys want to do? The Island Boys? No, it's Don't try to make this a gay thing. I'm talking specifically about the Island Boys. Well, I don't like the hair. They know I told them already, but... They're pretty handsome. This is only one of two podcasts that the Island Boys managed to become the stars of after they were invited to sit down with Logan Paul, Mike Malak, and George Janko on the Impulsive Podcast. And again, there was drama. You, you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? You know that, right? Why don't we just let Cooler okay, Edge prevail? Why don't we just happened? let Cooler Edge prevail? You I know listen. Do that. It's cringe. It's my cringe. Hey, man, you know what they say. You can take the boys out of the island, but you can't take the island out of the boys. No news yet on if the interview ever happened, and it doesn't look like it did. But this little confrontation was big enough to score George Janko a video on the trending page of YouTube, so the Island Boys are big business for anybody who seems to come in contact with them. Then there was their big performance at Live Nightclub, which didn't receive a warm welcome from the crowd. Despite getting booed by the Club Live crowd, the twins kept pushing forward and recently recorded the once acapella throwaway and mastered as an actual track produced by Luz, taking their viral banger and making a legit song out of it. The song is officially a Kodiak Red song that features his brother Fly Soldier because they're not an actual duo or group and probably don't want to be known as the Island Boys forever. As mentioned previously, the song did pull in an impressive 2 million views. Now the comment section wasn't pretty and the removal of the dislike button clearly worked in their favor. It was trash. It was trash. Like, what the f***? You know what I'm saying? So what do you guys think the future has in store for the Island Boys? Will they have an even bigger year in 2022? Or have we seen the best there is? We noticed that Dr. Phil has been booking influencers like Jay Station and that kid who asked Logan Paul for a job as of recent, so no doubt they will be getting an invitation to sit down with the good doctor. Dr. Filthy claims he has a lead on the antidote and that the cure is not far around the corner. There's a hypothesis that all you really have to do is sit them down and tell them to grow the f*** up, but Dr. Filthy claims that killing them is safer for the rest of the population. We here at Before They Were Famous wish them all the best and give them mad respect for putting up with all the hate that they received. I mean, they are just a pair of island boys just trying to make it, so shout out to them. And before we wrap things up, just want to let you guys know that we have started another channel called Famous Life. So if you want to see like some real celebrities, real A-listers being covered in depth, please let us know who you'd like to see covered and we'll make a video about it and post it on that channel.